you greetings one and all welcome to nhl ideas the show where i discuss certain ideas that could be implemented within the nhl or the hockey world as a whole today's topic is fighting within the nhl now should it be banned is the real question we are going to discuss here in this episode now let me get this straight i like a good hockey fight just as much as the next person And I actually really respect the freedom the National Hockey League has given in letting two hockey players who have a little bit of beef with each other drop their gloves and let their fists do the talking. But with the amount of fights per season dropping again last season, is it time to call it quits for fighting? Now, I mean, let's be honest, guys, that it's long gone the days where being an enforcer could be your ticket to the opening night roster. That The game is so focused on speed and, and skill and size nowadays, and the top players are just so good that the enforcer role is practically dead in the league. You don't see any enforcers anymore in the league because they're not needed. The players are too quick, they're too skilled for an enforcer to come out and be useful. Back in the days of the 80s and the, and the dynasties with the Habs and the Islanders and the Edmonton Oilers and the Gretzky era, you'd have enforcers, the enforcer would be there to protect somebody like Gretzky. You'd get that, but you don't need that anymore. Players can fight, but they choose not to. They know they're going to get five minutes in the penalty box. They know they're going to get reduced minutes if they decide to fight because the coach would be like, oh, you're a bit reckless. I've got to keep you back. Fighting is dying within the NHL, folks. And as much as it pains me to say it, I think we may as well just put a ban on it. I don't know. I'm, I'm very conflicted over this, this topic because I don't think we should ban fighting. But then again, nobody wants to fight very much anyway. Like... Take a look at guys like John Scott or Brian McGratton or uh, or those sort of guys. That They were in the league because they were big physical guys that could drop the gloves. Look where they are now. They're not anywhere because they, no offence to them, they could play better hockey than I can, but they couldn't play good enough hockey to stay in the league. That's why they're not in the league anymore. So I, I think the whole enforcer, the enforcer player type and the whole fighting within the NHL. I just don't think it's going to last, folks. I think we need to finally put this to rest. I mean, if we remove fighting from the National Hockey League, it also reduces the risk of fighting-based injuries. Well, I mean, I doubt that there's a very high amount of them nowadays. And it finally puts to bed the debate that has been going on for the last few years of should we ban fighting or not? I mean, in several junior leagues, I believe fighting is illegal and you will get kicked out of the game for fighting and a potential suspension. So... Maybe going along that route might be the way to go. Who knows? Now, yeah, as I've said, less players want to fight. And whilst fights are exhilarating to watch for the diehard hockey fans, even for some sort of casual hockey fans, everybody associates fighting with ice hockey. Everybody that you speak to that, that loves hockey or you ask somebody that has nothing, who knows nothing about hockey will go, they fight a lot in hockey, don't they? Well, the truth is they don't anymore. They don't in the National Hockey League. They, they do more overseas. There's a lot of fighting going on overseas. But they don't in the National Hockey League anymore. There is no fighting anymore whatsoever. I mean, the lack of fighting in games nowadays means that potentially some fans have forgotten fighting was even a thing in the league. I mean, I hope that's not the case. But let's be honest, the fact that it doesn't happen that often anymore, like, people are going to forget about it. If they don't see it, it's, it's going to be forgotten. Now, however, like in fighting's favour, fighting is one of the most unique selling points of the NHL. Hockey and fighting have always been considered a pair. They've always considered to be a hand-in-hand thing. Now, for good and bad reasons, of course. Not always good, not always bad. But I think I, I think it's time, guys. I really don't want to say this, but I think it's time that fighting was removed from the National Hockey League. The, the amount of players that want to fight nowadays, the amount of average fights per season is so low nowadays. You'll be lucky if you get a fight every five games, roughly. Every five games for your team. like, And then and then they get broken up before something serious even happens, you know. They're, they've become so watered down and, and, so, and so empty now. Like, it's lost its value. Like, before everybody would be like, yeah, there's a fight, let's get the team worked up. Yeah, some momentum. And now, now they've lost that. Even the fights that do happen nowadays, they, they've lost that kind of edge. They don't really help a team anymore. They don't really hinder the other team if you beat the, their guy in a fight. So, guys, I, I think I think the NHL should probably just get on with it. Whilst whilst fighting is great, and I love the hockey fights, I think hockey fights are great, I, I think it's brilliant that they can go, right, you've been slashing me all game, right, let's drop the gloves and I'll show you who's boss. Like, I, I, I'm well on board with that idea. But the fact that nobody fights anymore, I think it's just time to call it a day. 
So what do you guys think? Do you think fighting should finally be banned from the NHL as nobody fights anymore? Do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinion. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.